Welcome to Yoga Stretch Fusion Standing Only. I'm Jennifer Wagner with Collective Wellness. First things first, do not forget to subscribe. There should be a little button down there that says subscribe. That is free and that just gets you uh, my notifications. Every time I post something, you will not miss a beat. This is a fusion of yoga, dynamic stretching, ballet, tai chi, best of the best, all mixed in to one session. Please make sure to take breaks and listen to your body while you're doing this. Let's get started. We're going to have our feet hip width apart, toes facing forward and spread. And then we're just going to go into mountain pose to start with. So we're just getting nice and tall. Just kind of check our body. Fingers spread, shoulders slide down towards our back pockets, and then eyes gently close. Inhale. And exhale. And just let our mind slow down and our heart rate calm. Find that center from your ankles to your knees, from your knees to your hips, hips to shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. Always try to inhale through the nose first and then exhale whichever is comfortable, nose or mouth. Bring your hands together into namaste. So you're gonna center with your chest, gently pressing your palms together. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly open your eyes. We're going to sweep our arms up and around as you arch your back on the turn so you can see. Tuck your tailbone, arch your back like a cat. And then you're gonna sweep up and out. Open up, arch the back like a cow. Again, sweep around and out. Exhale as you curve, exhale. Inhale as you open. Exhale, curve around, tuck the tailbone, tuck your chin, and sweep up and out. Go ahead and open up as wide as your arms are comfortable or your shoulders, and then hopefully you'll be able to progress as you warm up. One more time, each. Open up. Good. You sweep your arms up and over, holding here. You can even take your hands together if you want. Knees are slightly bent. Elbows up and out, chin is tucked. All right, we're gonna to start to straighten. I'm gonna turn my legs here. You're going to straighten the legs as you drop your head into a forward bend, but your elbows are still up and out. Arms are still in position. Elbows up and out. Chin is still tucked. Legs are straight, but your knees are not locked. All right, keep your arms in position. Go ahead and shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. And Kurt, let your arms just hang now and sway like an elephant's trunk. Chin is still tucked, sway like an elephant's trunk, nice and loose. Go ahead and start curling yourself up, vertebra by vertebra. Chin stays tucked though. Curling up, you're still swinging like an elephant's trunk. Go ahead and swing up and down, switch directions up and down. Good, sweeping up. Hands together, keep your feet planted. You're going to shift side to side, but your hips are staying center. So it's the rib cage that's lifting and shifting. So we're laterally moving our spine now. Inhale and exhale. Hold to the right. Right hand comes down, pressing into the thigh. 
and pressing as you lean a little further. So press into the thigh. Good. Coming up, up and over to the left. Left hand comes down, pressing into your thighs. So you slide down. Inhale and exhale. Coming up and release. Good. Okay, we're going to twist through the core. This is called um, beat the drum is one of the names you might hear in Tai Chi. So my arms are loosey-goosey. They are not moving. They're just swinging. Everything is coming from the core and the arms just kind of fall as they may. And as you get more and more into this, again, more and more through the core, the arms will start to kind of swing a little bit more and essentially slap your sides, which is just what it is. It's like beating the drum. So get through the core still. Inhale. And exhale. Couple more times. And center. All right, we're going to go back into that forward bend. You could always walk your hands or slide if you'd like, but make sure your toes and knees are still forward. This is one of my favorite stretches is the forward bend. And you can always do it assisted. So you can always have your hands on your shins or your thighs. Chin is tucked. Let your shoulders and your hands and your head hang down. This is a great thing to do, especially throughout the day when you feel like gravity's kind of taking a toll on your neck and your shoulders. Take your hands to your opposite elbows. And go ahead and swing it out again. But this time, push your opposite elbow across towards and away. So across and away. Feel that through the sides, through the shoulders, still, chin still tucked. So if you had to look at me, go ahead and tuck the chin back down. Rock it out and press the elbow forward. All right, go ahead and start curling up with this. You're still doing the same thing. Rock and press. Rock and press away. Up and over. Inhale. Exhale. Center and release. Good. All right, shoulder shrugs up and down. Up and down. So we got a lot of the spine working out. Not a lot of the spine. Your spine is one thing <laughs> connected. Now we're getting into the shoulders. We don't realize how tense these parts of the bodies get because we hold them and hold our stress in the areas. And we wonder why we hurt so much. Okay, roll up and back. Turn here so you can see up and back. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and roll up and back and hold. Rock your head side to side, feel it through the neck. Tummy tucked, hips are center. Take it nice and controlled, slow movements. Not about speed, it's about control and moving. All right, turn your head side to side. Inhale and exhale. And center. All right, you're gonna bend at those knees, kind of sit down a little bit. You're gonna sweep your right arm across and your elbow is pointed up and you sweep across and reaching 
over towards the left corner there. And then you're going to sweep up and over and then reach back and pull down. We're going to switch sides. So you're going to curve around, elbows lifted, sweep across. You're going to feel that up into the rib cage and shoulder reach, 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 reach. And then to the sky, push back, pull down. Do that a few times each. Switch it out, right? Sweep across, knees are bent, sitting down, up and over, pushing back and down. Switch sides, sweep across, elbows lifted, up, back, and down. We'll do one more each. Feel that through the shoulder and rib cage. Push back, down, and last one. Sweep across, up, back, and down. Good job. Let's go out wide with your feet. And then we're going to lunge side to side. So bending one knee straight in the other. So now we're getting into the hip joint. So hopefully you feel nice and loose in the upper part of the body. We're going to get a little lower now. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and reach it out. Opposite arm. So your hip is pushing to the side and back as the straight leg is pressing into the floor. So we're going to do a series of stretches and working through those hips. Last one. Good. Make sure your toes are straight forward. Legs are straight, but excuse me, getting the hiccups. Knees are not locked. You're going to slide down. Dropping your head. Take both hands to your right foot. Legs are straight, but not locked. So both hands are to your right foot as your body is turned to your right foot. Go ahead to the left foot. Both hands. Keep your breathing going. Hands to center, right below your head. Drop your head, chin is tucked. Go ahead and rock your hips side to side. Knees are straight. Feel that in the hips and the hamstrings. Knees stay straight, but not locked. Rock your hips side to side. Inhale. And exhale. Center. You're going to bend your knees as you sit down, lift your head up so it's like a leapfrog. And I want you to make sure your knees are out. So if you need to turn your toes out a little bit, go ahead, but make sure the knees are out with, they're not rocking in. All right, we're gonna go back and forth, go into a forward bend, and then sit down, lift your head up, and forward bend, and sit down. Good. Feel those hips warming up even more, stretching. So working, and then forward bend, stretch. Release those hips as you do that. And don't try not to hold on. Okay, go into a forward bend and hold. Tailbone to the sky. Go ahead and rock the hips back and forth again. Knees are straight. Feel that in the hips. Hamstrings also, as you feel that stretch move. All right, hold to one side, keeping your legs straight again. Press your hip to the side, hold. Deep breath in. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and switch sides. Switch sides. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Center. And curl yourself up. Vertebra. Vertebra. 
to go into a star as you open your arms up and out. You're going to keep your heels pressed into the floor, but you're going to press the hips forward and then lift your chin, your chest, open up into star. Feel that in the front of the body. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. When center, hands come together, going to turn your right toes out. Turn your right toes out, pushing your arms back, and then you're going to lower yourself down, but I want you to control through your core. So use your core and you're still reaching up and over. So we're going into the most challenging part. If you need to take one hand down, go ahead. But control through the obliques and through the abdominals keeping your chest open, arms back. Again, you can have a hand on your thigh or extend it and hold. Whew. Inhale, exhale. Coming up, all right, we're gonna go into triangle, right hand down on the thigh and then sliding down. Right hand, left hand back, right hand down. I don't know if I said the other way. Chest is open, pressing your left hip to the side, to the left. So I'm mirroring you if you haven't figured that out yet. Inhale and exhale. Coming up to warrior two. So we're reversing a little bit straight or bending at the knee, arms parallel, hips are open, inhale. And exhale, sinking down as far as you're comfortable. Go into reverse warrior, palm up, hinge forward first, and then sweep up to the sky as your hand comes to your thigh and slide down. Chest is lifted first before you slide down. So we're not compressing to the spine. And your right knee is still bent. Inhale and exhale. Coming up, straighten your leg, lower hand, turn to the front, reaching for the sky. All right, left toes turned out. All right, got your core in it activated as we hinge. You can use your hand, left hand on your thigh if you need to, so this is an option. Use your core to control, arms back, inhale. Exhale. Coming up, triangle, hand comes down, sliding down. Chest is open, right hand is up and back, pressing your hips to the right. Inhale and exhale. Remember, go down as far as you're comfortable. If you need to stay up by your thigh, that's fine too. Coming up, bending your left knee as we go into warrior two, arms parallel. Make sure your toes and knees are lined up. All right, palm up, reverse warrior, hinge forward first, and then scoop up to the sky. Back hand to the thigh, lift your chest up as you slide down. Inhale. Exhale, gazing at your palm. And straighten out. Good, turn your foot to the front and then walk your feet in. Okay, this one requires a little more balance, so definitely take it easy or um, have your back or hips against the wall. What you're going to do is you're going to cross a foot over and then place your foot on the floor. So make sure both feet are planted again after you've crossed over and then slide down. We're going into a forward bend. 
This does require that more balance. So if you need to put your hip against the wall or back against the wall, go ahead. And then when you get to a point, you can let your arms hang down and chin tuck. I don't recommend to close your eyes also if you have problems with balance. If you want to challenge your balance, go ahead and close them. Chin is tucked. Feel that through. Hamstrings, hips, spine. Whoop. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and start to curl yourself up. Reaching for the sky, inhale. And exhale. Switch legs. Doing great. We're getting closer. Switch your feet out and plant your foot on the floor. That's key. Make sure your foot is planted all the way back down. And then forward bend. You can slide your hands down if needed. Inhale. And exhale. Really feel that in the hips, especially the one that's crossed. Back of the legs, chin is tucked. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and curl yourself up, vertebra by vertebra, chin is tucked. You can walk your hands up your legs if you need to. Inhale up to the sky. And exhale. Okay, all right, shake it out. All right, feet. We always forget our feet. We don't realize how much we need to work our feet. So we're gonna start with our feet. Speaking of the word, <laughs> hip width apart, toes are straight forward. We're going to start like within a pedal. Actually, spread your toes out first, it might help a little bit. But you're going to go into like a pedaling motion. So one forward and one down. I'm going to show from the side. So I want you to press forward and then press down. Press forward and press down. We have muscles through the toes that run into the feet and they connect through the ankle and into the leg. So not only does everything start from our feet as our foundation, but everything is connected and work together. So if you have strong feet balanced, it will help with the rest of the body. Okay, now with both feet, releve. And uh, try to stay even on the balls of your feet so we're not banana footing it if you, <laughs> the term where you have the arched part of your feet showing. You can have your arms out for balance if needed. Shoulders relaxed. Come up as high as you can. All right, come up and hold. Oops, see if I can get there. Hold on to something if you need to, just don't hold on for dear life. All right, hold, 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 we got it. And down. All right, we've got our right toes under and circle it around. Feel that through the top of the foot. If you're prone to cramps and you get one, just pick up your foot, shake it out, and then hopefully you can go right back into it. This can be intense if you haven't done this for a while. Go ahead and switch directions. Feel that strap to the top of the foot, into the toes. Okay, let's switch feet, toes under, circle it out, stay nice and tall. I can feel it through the top of the foot and into the toes. Inhale, exhale, circle the other way.
Shake it out. Good. Okay, spread your right toes out. Press your heel forward. Make sure that your foot is lined up. So it's very easy to kind of go off to the side if you can see how that is happening. I want you to just turn and straighten it out. Push forward. Feel that in the bottom of the feet, into the toes. All right, switch, spread your toes out and press straight forward. So your knee and your heel press straight forward. And shake it out. Good job. All right, three center ourselves. Take a deep breath in, reach for the sky. And exhale. You did a wonderful job. Inhale. And exhale. I hope you feel nice and loosened up, ready for the day. Last time, inhale. And exhale. And namaste. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Click on that little picture of me. You'll subscribe. Again, it's free. And then I will have a floor version of the Yoga Stretch Fusion so you can see what it's like being on the floor only. Have a wonderful day and hope to see you back again. Bye.